Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Linux Techie. Today uh, I'll be discussing the very interesting topic, special or advanced permissions in Linux. So this video is uh, on the continuation of the part one. So those who have not watched the part one video on the basic permissions, then I'll suggest to uh, go to the part one and watch it first then come to the part 2 and if you already have the basic knowledge of Linux permissions then you can continue watching the part 2 so those who have not subscribed to my channel uh, I'll request you to please subscribe the channel let's get started so in the part 1 we have discussed about basic permissions in Linux and we have discussed about types of permissions like uh, read write and execute and the level of permissions like user honor and group so uh, today we will be discussing on the advanced permissions in linux so we have three special or advanced permissions available in linux the first one is suid the second one is SGID set group ID and the third one is sticky bit so let's get started with the first special permission SUID so SUID is a special permission assigned to a file these permission allow the file to be executed with the privilege of the owner if a file was owned by the root user and has the set uid bit set no matter who execute the file it would always run with the root user privilege so i'll show you the example as well so suppose we have a file and let's have an example so we have a folder permission and we don't have any file so Let's create a file. Mm, my script dot C. So hash include stdio dot h hash include um, sys types dot h so I have included <coughs> both header files so let's create a function let's set uid and get uid so this program will set the user id uh, as a uh, as a result of get euid get euid means get executed user id means if you have set the <coughs> suid in the file that means whoever uh, whoever has the owner of this file will be responsible for executing this file and suppose the root has created this file and if user one execute this file this file will be executed as the root ownership if you set the suid to this file so let's use the system method and print cat etc shadow return zero So first of all let me show you one thing this is my user Mohit and you cannot read the shadow file because uh, if you are not root you cannot view or you cannot have a look into the file named etc shadow as you can see it has only 
root permission and no group permission or no permissions to other so i have created a myscript.c and in the myscript.c i have set the executed owner permission to this file and i am using cat and etc shadow file so let's first generate the output file my script and let's give the permission so it has already permission read and execute to the user user means root and read and execute to the group and read and execute to the other so mohit is other user and let's first navigate to the folder etc permission i can switch into the folder because as you can see the permission folder is having the group owner is test group and mohit is the member of test group as i have shown you already in my first video so i am in the folder right now so let's execute the script my script and you will see permission denied because user mohit cannot view the content of etc shadow file because only root can see that so if i go to the folder again and if i set the suid to my script means whoever the user execute this file will have the root privilege on this file so now let's try to execute and as you can see i am able to see the content of etc shadow so let's move to the next permission special permission <clears throat> sgid set group id when the user when the set group id bit is set every file created in the group will be created with group ownership and also executed file with the group ownership no matter who execute it so first remove all the content in the directory and as you can see in the permission if you see the permission structure of this the permission is a directory so in the first column d is written and we are having read write execute permission to the user user means root and we have permission read and execute to the group group means test group and read and execute to the all users so i am switching to the directory permission and if i create a file f1 you will see that the root is the file owner of this and root is the group owner of this file which is a default behavior and now if we set the sgid with the g plus s because it applies on the group only if we apply and it is since it is a directory we use recursive and now you will see in the group section yeah in the group section in the place of execute we are able to see the s it denotes then that the group is having sgid set so let's switch to the permission folder again and now create a file touch f1 now you will see the file is created with the group ownership test group because we have set it the 
SGID into the folder. Even even any user like Mohit will also when Mohit will also create a file touch F2. So oh because Mohit is not having write permission into the folder. So now I'm not able to create. So let's give G group plus write permission into the folder recursively. Now Mohit will be able to create the file. And as you can see, Mohit created the file with having group per, uh, group ownership as test group. So let's move to our third special permission, which is highly used and which is sticky bit. So sticky bit uh, is a special permission uh, we use when we want to restrict other users to delete the file inside the folder. As you will read here, files can be protected in the directory from getting removed by other users who do not own it by preventing it with sticky bit. It is displayed at the same location as the execute permission for others. So we have permission of others in the last three columns and if you set the sticky bit by chmode plus s to the directory you will see in the place of execute you will see t it denotes that the sticky bit sticky bit is set on the folder so let's have an example currently we do not have sticky bit set in the permission folder and let's go to the permission Let's go to the permission folder and uh, first let's change the group ownership to root root to the permission folder. Now Mohit does not belong to the root group. So Mohit is uh, considered as other user for permission so let's give read write execute permission recursively so we are giving uh, others user to have read write and execute permission to the folder now Mohit user can create file and also can delete the file because currently we do not have any sticky bit. So let's now use the sticky bit on the permission and now let's try to delete f1 folder and as you can see cannot remove f1 operation not permitted because permission folder is having now sticky bit set means even even though other user is having read write execute full permission to the folder but still other user cannot delete the file which he or she does not own so today we have discussed about the special permissions in Linux uh, with the great examples hope you like the video and those who have not subscribed to my channel I'll suggest to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates whenever I upload my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.